Oke okay guys, kita lanjut ke game kedua ya antara Yudurat Giants melawan Smart Omega. Malay versus PH guys ya. Kita lihat aja guys, Andorio pakai Julianto, Sekes pakai Roger. Mantap kali lah ya guys ya, sama-sama Fighter bro. Fighter MM lawan Fighter Mage ya. Ukir dia pakai Zuxin. Stormy masih pakai Zax ya. Innocent, buset. Hihihih. <laughs> We're talking about level 3 Julian after all. Um, that's the one thing about Julian as well. He reaches his peak at level 3 rather than level 4. That a lot of other junglers would have to wait for before they're truly able to fight. And that means that the timeline for this hero is a lot earlier, which is very appropriate for a meta where early game aggression is promoted. So at least for the side of Judo Raid Giants, they absolutely prioritize this Harif as much as possible. Since they know about the Julian at level 3 spike, they will want to keep the Cho somewhere around the corner. While middle lane, they're gonna have to leave, uh, leave Zask to his you own devices. Andrew. I mean, he does have Nightmarish <laughs> spawn, so it may not be as bad as you expected. Yeah, on paper, we should definitely see more attention from the Red Giants towards gold lane because Terizla is Terizla, Zas can handle himself, mm -hmm. and we already know that Harif needs to win lane against Claude. But Sekai is here, have decided to join into the fray while absorbing or rather eating almost the entirety of that enhanced side. Cram immediately <laughs> flickers himself towards his turret just to make sure that he don't get caught out by Ryota or Ukir. Ukir is still a tad bit more to level 4, and there we go, level 4 already, pretty much prepared to go all go big or go home. We do see the worry about the threat of the lantern though. The fact that Kram just immediately flickered out to make sure he wouldn't get thrown into the rest of Omega shows Andori. how scary it can be. Chuck is Yums 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 not at level 4 just yet. And now Yums Chuck is ready at level 4. Yums is still not there yet. Julian manages to take nice down the Stormy. turtle while Stormy draws first blood onto this Julian. Was it worth it? I do think that from a team perspective, getting turtle is more important. But from an individual micro perspective, being able to trade turtle for first blood on the enemy jungle is very valuable, especially in a Roger versus Julian situation, because the latter should usually be the one coming out on <laughs> top. Banget, guys. You can see that Omega were yums. focused eh? very heavily yums. on stopping Sky, so Buset. they weren't really protecting yeah. their jungler. Oh, Masih we selamat, have guys. the blazing Jom <laughs> did manage to bring Yums all the way down Terlalu to the yes, yeah. Chuck knew is he going to go for something more cheeky here? Technically, he could go for a flicker out, but that would have been a waste. Yeah, it's not a position just yet because Jom just used blazing, blazing Duet, and we know that early game without that, Claude really doesn't do much damage at all. So it wouldn't be a very effective usage of resources. And because of that, Rudu Red Giants will feel safe enough to continue roaming around the map for now. Cram walking right over to the middle lane. He's taking quite okay. a lot of damage. Yeah. What a Zaman for just gonna be popping. So Hello, you have managed to successfully bring the Chusin down almost immediately before Chusin even managed to pop anything when it comes down to the Crimson Beacon. A really nice two-pronged attack. Ukir was so distracted by trying to pick up the Terizla that he failed to notice Yums coming from the opposite side and kicking him into the Red Giants, thereby preventing <laughs> the fight from starting on Smart Omega's terms. It's, I, it kind of seems as though you, the Red Giants, will want to come in from many of various yep. different angles in order for them to really get something. Since they get, there's a lot of things that uh, Smart Omega really have play to take uh, really have to keep in mind of. Yums dies playing. Yeah, along the Jukundo in order to be able to pick up onto Endoryu. But Yudure Giants doesn't seem like they're stopping anytime soon just yet. They're still posturing themselves until they realize, okay, let's take a chill pill. We just saw another reason why Zas is so strong right now. Stormy was literally being pincered by four members of Omega. He pops into his ultimate and he's just absolutely fine. Even able to mass stun and buy time for the rest of the Red Giants to come by and provide backup and get another kill on Andoryu. We immediately see the Red Giants controlling this early game Yums. again. Like as though Yums, while charged. Oh, Fantasy. in the meantime, down in the bottom lane, Yums is suff has suffered so, so much damage. But because of Chuck Noo's barrier, has been able to sure that yeah. he blocks out Yums' escape. That is a Roma for a Roma trade, nothing too valuable being lost.
Yeah, it's not too bad though, because Smart Omega are behind. Being able to trade one for one is pretty good. Even forcing out some extra resources from the Red Giants. Unfortunately, the turtle still gonna take another 80 seconds before it comes up. So the timeline of that wasn't the most efficient from Omega. I would say that Yudu Red Giants, they are definitely been uh, they have definitely been on the ball quite a lot, but most of these games or most of these fights Jungs, really eh? comes down to the middle lane, jadi, and it's been more or less a Brawl game thus far. Why is that so? Because again, EXP lane going to be totally fine. Even Cram has actually already unlocked himself from the lane, so he's able to start roaming over to mid. And by putting more Cuk of their resources in the mid lane, goal, Red Dice <laughs> understands that Omega <laughs> is a team that needs to fight cuy. together. Sambil Thereby, by putting putsi. themselves in the mid lane, they're actually indirectly drawing attention away from Innocent as well. Um, so they are just pretty much pulling the EXP play in the mid lane instead. Nah, ini guys. Nah. You know that, like, if Aduh. They if Smart Omega ignores the them and ya. goes for a full gank onto Innocent, yes, Harif might die, tough. but they yeah. unlock mid lane priority. <laughs> ah, okay, so it's all about a game of trade. Whichever that they would prefer to trade out. Mm -hmm. And for Smart Omega, they know that they cannot afford to trade mid tier mm. one for Innocent. One kill on Harif won't affect him too much at this stage. But, but the middle losing lane. free access and safe access to their mm. jungle is, that is hugely detrimental, especially against oh, Yudu Red Giant. So Smart yeah. Omega understood that they gotta have to make sure that their tier one stays alive. Yes, yes, oh, yes, yes, so fights in here is unfortunately something that they will have no choice but to uh, admit themselves into. Jom did unleash himself into a blazing duet all the way at the back lines but he's still gonna be safe and sound Sekai, 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 all the way down to the sliver he still wants to be around but unfortunately Andoryu will take the turtle down first but the main thing is how much headcount is left on the side of Smart Omega Ryota and Andoryu is the two members that's been taken down allowing you to raid Giants to actually extend oh. the fight a little bit longer allowing Stormy to actually Gila slide banget, Jim, to guys. right out he's gonna get another Chak one mati oh, lah. another one you're right Chuck Nu is next on the Chak top of the block guys, yeah. Yudu Giants didn't seem like they won it massively, but because of that snowball effect from Chaknu and Endorius death, they got two turrets and two more kills. Because Skies has been getting a lot of attention from the world recently as the Sky Prince, a lot of people forget why Stormy is the only other player on this team with a moniker. He is the mage mm. prodigy because he can play any hero and he wants to be aggro. He made a name for himself because even when there were good ults to steal on the Valentina, he would go for decimate every single time. So when he has access to a hero like Zaz, where he can just jump in, do <laughs> damage, and he risks to himself, you can bet he is going to do exactly that. It is currently 8 minutes into the game, and Yudo Regions is once again doing what they have been doing like in the previous game. One kill every minute. And every single one of these kills are always of high value target, or they are able to translate that one kill into something more. With a total of about 5,000 gold lead from the side of Yudo Raid Giants, with a total of three turrets taken down, all of which are the T1s of Smart Omega, <laughs> making things even tougher for Smart Omega to even congregate together and try to settle up for a team fight. You can already see the vast difference of how Smart Omega played when they had the T1 versus when they don't have the T1, such as now. And that's why this is the situation Omega wanted to avoid, right? Why they didn't want to trade the tower to go for a free kill onto Innocent down in the bottom lane. They know they need more space, more control over the map to make sure that Jome is still able to scale on this Claude. And while I do think that it's still possible for him to do so, there's been a lot more restrictions put on it. And surprisingly, Smart Omega, they are the one that is going to be executing onto the Lord. Is this really nah, going to go to Endorius just yeah. so easily? Completely unchallenged, or maybe not, as Yudu Rage is just coming Ryota. in for a two-prong attack. All the way down from the middle lane, they cut in onto Ryota. Ini as well as Endorius, bring it down almost immediately, while Innocent pops up <laughs> the Zaman Force in Sa order to be able to catch up onto Jack New. <laughs> With the Zaman Force intact, he can also be able to bring down the T2 in the middle. I do like how cheeky that was from Smart Omega. Like, they just tried <laughs> to rush down the Lord before Red Giants noticed, but well, that's not gonna work. As you can see, Yudu Red Giants now came in, sure. knocking on the front doors in the middle lane. The Lord comes <laughs> in to defend Smart Omega and fight for their cause. But unfortunately, the middle lane inhibitor turrets has already been taken down, and Yudu Red Giants have got a very short order, which is to just bring down this baby Lord. I don't really think it's worth 
risking that trade for the first Lord of the game. <laughs> it's really not going to get you very much. Ideally, Smart Omega are going to be able to do some damage to the tier 2 with it. That's about the maximum that they can hope for. Well, when it comes down to uh, looking at the curve of each game, whenever you are picking up the level... Uh, Sorry, whenever you're picking up the 9 minutes Lord, what you're looking out for is to oh. exterminate all, all of the outer turrets. While for 12 minutes onwards, you will want your, uh, your Lord to take the, t uh, the inhibitor turrets. So Yudu Red Giants is way off curve. They've already managed to get themselves the, in, uh, the first inhibitor in the middle lane, even without the use of a Lord. <laughs> so this Lord for Smart Omega ultimately did absolutely nothing for them. And you can see that while they were defending with the Lord as well, Skies is just on the opposite side of the map, buffing the lane, stealing orange buff as well. Ah, that's Sabar definitely dulu, just all about the macro game that we <laughs> ultimately can expect from the side of the Red Giants. But this is something a little bit sneaky from the side of Serkais. He's hiding down in the bottom lane, just inhibiting the opponent's jungle. But he's also clearing some of these out just so that he will be able to choke Smart Omega a little bit more. Yeah, he's just mass farming, basically. And by splitting their resources across the map when Red Giants are already in full control of the game, they're also able to make sure they scout out any movements that Omega might go for. If they see them down bottom, then you push up top lane, and vice versa. <laughs> thereby not allowing Smart Omega to ever take a step outside of the safety of their base. So we are essentially back to the curve, whereby the both teams are just waiting for, me, for yeah? the neutral objective in order for them to even have a motivation as to when are we going to push and how are we going to push. Yeah. Ordinarily, you would see Red Giants try to force something out, <laughs> but because Guys is on a Roger instead of something like a Ling or a Fanny, it's a lot less safe for Red Giants to do so. I and it also it, means yeah. that they're a lot stronger in Ooh, the 5v5 shit. instead. <laughs> so they're able to just slow down the game, go for the okay Lord, Lord instead. Lord yang kedua ya. kalau yang dapat TRG udah pasti lah, guys. YTTA, guys. YTTA, bro. Kalau mereka udah war, bro. Yudu Red Giants game plan at this point in time really feels like they are just kind of baiting and switching. They are putting uh, they are gonna pretty much going to be putting Cram all the way in the front line to bait something Ooh, out. But in the meantime, <laughs> Ryota all the way in the heart of the enemy. Just going to be locked down Stormy. But Stormy <laughs> says no. Mati, He's going to be in for more fights. Ryota While Innocent mati. off of the sidelines brings Ryota jom, down apain, as jom, well. Mati. Smart Omega failed to check their jungle. They went in. They checked the brushes to make sure nothing was there. And then they forget the one on the left, which Yunus was hiding in the entire time. The moment the fight starts, he just goes straight for Andor Yu. And with no Julian, it's a free Lord for the Red Giants. And with this Lord, the inhibitor should go down quite easily. It's the question of whether or not Omega even Jum. survives this. Jum and now Jum 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 the fight is definitely going to go to the side of the Red Giants as the Lord fights for their cause. Pillages everything that Smart Omega owns okay, and loves. And Ukir, he's going to be hiding behind. You would really win the land if we do a lot. But no, he wasn't able to do a lot. 2-0 di tangan dari YRG, bro. Apalagi lah lawannya Smart Omega, guys. Easy gaming lah, guys. Okay lah ya, kita lanjut ke game yang selanjutnya. Match selanjutnya, guys. Bye-bye.